This kitchen is sizable. Yeah, it is. First time home buyers in Baltimore have a tight deadline to buy a house for their growing family. This will be a beautiful room for Aziza. We need to make an offer on it right now. We're rushing into this a little bit. But their indecisiveness could cost Taisha and Carlton the home of their dreams. Oh my goodness. When they finally decide to make a move, will it be too little, too late? Wow. What are you going to do? Please say you have good news for us. Oh, my God. I love the science center. It's so much fun. <laughs> My husband Carlton and I are buying our first place in Baltimore. Whee! We just got married two years ago. Aziza came along, our little blessing, um, about 10 months ago. Get something for you to eat, huh? Get you a house, too. We have to get our family out of this tiny one bedroom apartment. We are totally running out of space here. Toys everywhere. She's everywhere. Right. Aziza shares a room with us, and she is growing fast. Aziza's so oh. big. Our lease is going to be up in six weeks. They're going to raise our rent an extra $300, which will take it to $1,400 a month. That's a mortgage payment, so the pressure's on for us to find something really fast. We've been looking for about two, two and a half months. We've seen a million houses. <laughs> Technically, we've seen about 25, 30 homes. I think we're definitely willing to make some more compromises at this point. The reason why we haven't bought a house yet is because it takes Taisha forever to make a decision. Oh, I, I do hope we find something today. My biggest fear is that we'll find a perfect property that we love, but because Taisha wants to think about it, we could potentially lose that home to another buyer. Even though we're under the gun, I really want to take our time and make a smart decision because this is the biggest commitment of our lives. I'm a graphic designer. And I am an accountant. Even though we've been pre-approved for $200,000, our price max is going to be one ninety. dollars We have $6,500 in savings for the down payment, but what would really be helpful is if the seller agreed to pay the closing costs. We do have the option to borrow money from Taisha's parents, but this is something that we really want to do on our own. We're looking for a three to four bedroom townhome with a spacious master suite, a bedroom for Aziza, and a nice backyard. I would love to have a larger kitchen, and my husband works downtown, so he needs full access to the metro. We're looking to buy our first place in either Pikesville or Owings Mills, Maryland, because it's so conveniently located, and they have wonderful school systems. We are headed to Owings Mills today. We're going to check out a house in McDonough Township. Our realtor is Donna Spare. We met her online, and she's great. Mm, it's nice. I like it. This house is only a quarter mile to the subway, and downtown is 15 minutes away. Nice. It is listed for $2099. It's three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and there is 2,040 square feet of living space. The price is high, but I'm willing to give it a look, and maybe we can talk to sell it now. Thank you. Oh, cool. OK, the kitchen is to the right. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, I like this. <laughs> look at the floors. Those are nice. There's ceramic floors. Lots of counter space. This is excellent for prep work. I agree, and I really like the cutout that leads into the dining room. That's real nice, too. All right, look at, look at this. Wow. This nice. is an open floor plan. You have the dining room, living room combination. I really like the colors on the wall. That's really great. Nice and neutral. We could certainly work with the space. And I can see myself sitting right here, just watching television, sitting back. When I'm sitting down in that chair, I feel that I'm the king, and this is my castle. Oh, wow, honey. Take a look at this deck. Wow. I do kind of miss a little bit of the privacy. We are losing that here with the house, all the decks being backed up to each other. Exactly. That's common in the townhome community. I really don't like this backyard. There's zero privacy. Let's check out the upstairs. There's three bedrooms and two baths. OK, and this must be the, ooh, the master. <laughs> Yo, this is huge. Look at all the space in here. You actually have a king-size bed in the bedroom, and you can still move around. Take a look at this bathroom. Look at the colors in here in this space. Wow. That's not nice. I am definitely impressed by this master suite. <laughs> Let's go down the hall and check out the room for Aziza. 
Oh, this room's just a little small. I mean, I agree. It's it's workable. What are we supposed to do with the space again? Because I really don't see Aziza living in here. It just might not be enough. Yeah, I can see it being a little tight. So what do you think about this house? Well, um, honestly, I think it's pretty nice. I really enjoy that kitchen and the pass-through. It's, it's really great. The master bedroom was beautiful. Yeah, but Aziza's bedroom was way too small. And it's close to the metro, but... The privacy in the backyard is going to be a little bit of an issue. Uh, I don't see this house working for us. I think it's best we keep looking for something else. Wow. Is this it? This is it. Wow. This is Cedarwood Estates townhomes. It's a couple blocks from the subway. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely a good one. Within walking distance. It's listed for $199,132, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and 1,323 square feet. That's huge. It yeah. is. Looks really nice from the outside. I agree. I can't wait to see what's on the inside. Thanks. Wow, OK. Wow. So we walk right into the living room. We're here. Yeah, what do you think about that? This space doesn't give you a, a lot to work with. I mean. I do agree with you, babe. It is a little tight. Ooh, it's kind of small, but maybe we can make it work. Oh, this is a nice size. It wow. is. And it's Anita in kitchen, too. Look at the space. Yeah. Look, you have the island here and a double sink. That's awesome. And it's a nice <laughs> open space and leads to outside, which is also a lovely deck, it looks like. Wow. It's really beautiful and well maintained. I love the backyard, it's the perfect place to play. It's so light and bright up here. I, I like agree. this. I love this ledge. That's definitely a plus. <gasps> this would be a beautiful room for Aziza. Oh, I agree. This is so nice. Wow. And it has a nice bright window here. For her room, we could do wonders with this. Let's yeah. go check out the master bedroom. It's down the hall to the left. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, babe. You're going to oh, love this. Oh, my goodness. Look at the space in here. Oh, my gosh. I love this room. There's a master bathroom connected. Th this is heaven right here. Look I behind you. There's a master walk-in yeah. closet. Wow. OK. I'm sold. Well, I mean, I think the house meets a lot of our needs. We do really, really enjoy the outdoor space, so that is a plus. Yeah, and that eating kitchen is definitely something that we're looking forward to. I really love that master suite and the bedroom for Aziza. It's really close to the metro. It is pretty nice. It's just that I, I really want to I want to think about it. If you are considering this, I think we really should go ahead and write an offer. I want you guys to know that they've just reduced the price $20,000. Wow. There's a lot of activity, obviously. There is a second showing already scheduled. And you know, second showings generate contracts. That's a lot of pressure. You have a risk of losing this property if you don't act quick. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to lose the house, but I don't want to rush into anything either. I think that would be our best decision to sleep on it first. Yesterday, we saw a house that we really loved. Taisha wanted to sleep on it, but today she's feeling great about it, and we're ready to go and make an offer. We really, really need the seller to pay for closing costs, and I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that they're willing to help us out. The house is listed for $199,132. Okay. Now, you know that they lowered the price $20,000. She's gotten a lot of activity, so we want to get this offer in before any other offers come in, because then we have a bidding war, and. It's a whole new ball game. Oh, yeah. boy. I picked these comps. Um, they're all comparable to the house that we're looking at. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Stirrup court, listed for $199.99. Sold for $190,000. Owings Choice Court, that was listed for $210,000. It sold for $210,000. But the seller did give a $7,300 subsidy. Okay. So they helped with the closing costs. Mm -hmm. That's good. I did speak to the lender and ran some numbers for you. If you offered 188, 
your down payment would be $6,584.62. We're going to ask the seller to pay your closing costs and your monthly payment will be $1,350. How does that sound? Doesn't sound bad. Is it possible for us to do 185, 132, that little weird number on the end? Sure. We can try to keep that. Maybe it means something to her. Exactly. Let's keep that going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling really confident about this offer. I just really hope the seller is going to bite. We're offering $185,132. We're asking for 5% closing help. We'll submit it to the listing agent and see what the seller has to say. I'm thinking the worst that could happen is that she says no and we could come back and say, all right, we'll bump up. Exactly. And you never know until you try. Yeah. Right. Yes, I know. Oh my gosh. Hi Donna, it's Carlton. You got some news for us? $2,100 to your closing costs. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow. <sighs> okay, um, taking a deep breath here. So we would need to come up with about $7,100 for the closing costs. Hmm, that's really something to think about. Hey Donna, can we put Aziza down for bed and call you right back? Sure. Come on, come on, bedtime for you. All right. She's down for the count. $7,000 is an awful lot of money to borrow from someone. <sighs> Hi, how are you? We're a little nervous right now. Is it quite possible, would this be asking for too much, if we were to counter and say we'll pay the one eighty eight, dollars but we would ask her to pay $4,000 of closing cost? We can counter. Um, that's not a problem at all. Would you recommend that? I wouldn't recommend that. You know, there's a lot of activity since they've lowered the price $20,000. And you know, there was a second showing today. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's just, that's an awful lot of money to be borrowing from our parents. And we really want to do this on our own. This is a tough decision. Um, Let me call the agent. You know, maybe she knows that she can give $4,000 in closing and I can call you back. Okay. That sounds good. I'll call you in a few minutes. Uh, all right. Thank Thanks, you. Bye. 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 <sighs> oh my gosh. She said that is bottom line, and the other offer did come in this evening, and it's pretty close to our offer. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then um, we don't want to lose the house, so we'll take it. Okay. Great. I'm going to give the agent a call. Let her know that we're going to accept the offer. We need to meet tomorrow, and we need to sign the paperwork. That will make it official. Wow. That was easy, huh? <laughs> I guess when your back's against the wall. <laughs> but, um, we're going to get a house. We're going to get a house. <laughs>the seller wants to know if you can meet or beat that. Wow. Our max is 190 and we can't even begin to think about paying 195 for this house. Are you serious? Until we have something signed, it's only a verbal offer. How can they do that? I mean, they, we talk to them, you check with them, they they, they said they were going to take our offer. I don't understand. What? I feel really bad for Taisha and Carlton. It's unfortunate, but until we have a signed contract by both parties, 
then it's not a deal and anything can happen. Obviously, it's considerably more than what you've offered with the counter well, offers that we agreed. Can you guys come up any? No, I mean, at this point, we're just going to have to walk away. We can't compete with 195. What are we going to do? I guess our only options are, once again, to go back out and look for more houses. Right. It took a few days, but I think we're ready to move on now. Our lease is going to be up pretty soon. We have about five more weeks, so we need to get a move on and get out there and find another house. Oh, it's a brick front. That's pretty nice. We're in the Newtown section of Owings Mills. You know Newtown is close to everything. Shopping, schools aren't too far. I think the metro is probably about a half a mile from here. This is a three-bedroom, three-full-bath house. It's 1,320 square feet. Wow, that's huge. The best thing is it's listed for $154,900. Wow, that's really a good. jackpot, right? <laughs> that really works for our budget. This is a foreclosure. All okay, right. great. The sellers are motivated. It's priced to sell. Okay. For 154, I want to see what's going on in here. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, it's not as big as how we thought it would be. Yeah, especially based on the dimensions that you gave us. Maybe they're hiding the square footage somewhere else in the house. That pass through over there is pretty nice, though. I like the fact that I could be in the kitchen washing dishes or cooking and still see Aziz out here playing. Exactly. Oh, wow. this kitchen is sizable. Yeah, it is. That is nice. Look at all the cabinet space. Yeah. And, and counter, counter space. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> counter space. Definitely more space to do more things on. Dishwasher is always a plus. Yeah, for you, right? Because yes, he does course. the dishes. Like Good. <laughs> you know, even though we lost square footage out there in the living area, the kitchen offers us a lot of space to work with. Yeah. Hopefully the rest of the house measures up. Here's the master. Oh, okay. this is nice. Wow, it is nice. High ceilings. Yeah, that's a plus. Yeah. It'll be plenty be of space great. for just the two of us. The bathroom's over here. Let's check it out. All right. Wow, check out this bathroom, babe. This is nice. Yeah. I think it's enough room for the two of us. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. OK, OK, the house grew on me. Even though, you know, when we first entered, I was a little skeptical. This is a lot of room. I agree. I love the master suite. And the bedroom for Aziza will just be awesome. I love that kitchen. And the distance to the metro isn't that bad. That backyard's pretty awesome, too. Taisha better be ready to make an offer, because we can't afford to lose any more homes. Well, I think it's priced really well, especially for this area. Um, I think there's going to be multi-offers, and it's going to go pretty quick. I don't want to lose this house, and I know we're in a tight crunch, but we need to make an offer on it right now. I don't know. I, I mean, I just really feel like we're rushing into this a little bit. I, I think I really want to think about it. She really has to stop this. I mean, OK, we can't afford to wait and think too long. While we were thinking about bidding on a townhome we liked, it went under contract. But it looks like it was a blessing in disguise because we found a house that's perfect for us. It's a bit over budget at 225, but we're going to make our bid as competitive as possible. It's a townhome with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and just over 2,500 square feet. We love the nice, spacious kitchen, the great layout in the master bedroom. It's a great room for Aziza, perfect backyard, and it's really close to the metro. Our lease is up in a month, and this time we're acting fast for this house. So we're going to offer $190,000. We're going to ask for $4,000 closing help. We know it's a low bid, but that's our max. However, the house has been on the market for a while, so we're really hoping she's willing to negotiate. I don't, I don't want to lose this house. I don't want to lose it. If 
bottom line, at this point, we need a home. Hopefully you have some good news for us. I've heard from the seller's agent. The seller countered your offer at $190,000 with $3,000 closing. Help. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did they sign the paperwork? Yeah. As soon as you sign it, the house is yours. No, I'm just going to cry. Oh my gosh. Wow. And the final stroke. Oh my gosh, it's so sick. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Carlton's happy dance. I'm happy. I got a house. I got a house. The final purchase price for our townhome was $190,000. We put 3.5% down, which was $6,650. The closing costs were $9,154. The seller paid $3,000 of that, and we were able to cover the rest, with a little help from Taisha's parents. And our monthly mortgage payment is $1,341. It's been two months since we've moved in, and I'm so, I couldn't be happier. We have a nice sized kitchen, which I adore. The place where I spend the most time is the basement. I love it. My favorite part of the house probably is the bathroom upstairs that Aziza and I share, because Carlton has the bathroom in the basement. I know, rotten, isn't it? <laughs> Our family is really taking advantage of the backyard. Here it comes! Yeah! <laughs> and Aziza absolutely loves it. Having our own bedroom has been wonderful for our relationship. We're, it's like we're dating again. Aziza really, really loves her room. Now she has a big girl bedroom all to herself. Buying this house has been the best thing for our family. Yeah, yeah, yeah.